Hey y'all, it's me, Hetty, and what am I doing? Well, you can see by the title what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this beautiful pork roast that we made in the previous video and show you how to make the best off the hook pulled pork barbecue sandwich. So with that, let's get started. Quick video. This is how we do it. I just pull. I just I, I, look. I got these calls too, and you can use them if you want to. But you know, it's easy to do like that. But I guess I just grew up using forks, so I am showing you. I'm not going to bore you. You're going to pull your pork. Any obvious pieces of fat, I do have a little bit right through here, and I'm going to pull it out. No pun intended. See what I did there? And uh, I'm going to finish pulling this pork. And then when we're ready to go to the next step, I'll bring you right back. Okay, this is how I shredded it all up. And if there's more meat than you think I put in there, I guarantee you there is. Uh, at the request of my children and nephew, please shred the whole thing. Let's just get another roast for her tamales so that's what you're looking at they love the love they love it leftover now here's what i do next i'm cheating tonight i'm using me some sweet baby rays original and i just kind of come in here i've done this for so long this is not an exact measurement it's to your liking okay and i don't just mix this up and serve it no that's not what i do but I will show you what I do. So I'm going to go in. I go in. I make sure all the meat is coated. Now, y'all know I make really good barbecue sauce. But guess what? Remember what I told y'all about having to pick your battles? Yeah, well, when I don't make my own, it's Sweet Baby Ray's. I love it. Okay, so there's that. I mix it up. Let me get my dish. And I will show you what happens next. Okay, as you can see, they're about to knock me down for food. They're going to have to wait. I put this in a moderate oven. Oh, I don't know, 350, 375, just kind of depends. And uh, I am going to put a little more in. Oh, I do want to tell you something else I did. I went into my broth and I dug out about an onion's worth of that wonderful beautifully cooked flavoring broth and i also shredded that up in the meat so that's a little extra um, anyway i put this in i probably could have gone with just a little bit more barbecue sauce in fact i might do that off camera so i'm probably going to just come back in just a little bit more and it caramelizes with that meat and uh so i'm gonna go ahead just kind of loosely Make sure it's all coated. Get to the corners. Spread it back out. And then you'll see what I'm talking about when I stick it in the oven. Okay? I will see you when we come back. Alright. I'll finish this off camera and I'll bring it back when it's bubbling. Remember when I told you that they were ready to knock me down for supper? Well, they were all so hungry. We had been doing a whole bunch of stuff that day. And, uh, well, I didn't want to make them wait any longer, but I just blanked out and didn't film it. I'm sorry it was so beautiful and bubbling and caramelized. But anyway, this is what it looked like on the plate. Yes, my son still loved tater tots. And, well, those aren't tater tots, but they're something similar. We don't have them very often at all, but I thought, well, what a quick supper. So that's what we had. It was so good, y'all. I, I know I say this every time you got to try it, but y'all, you got to try some of these recipes now. And don't not put that coleslaw on that pulled pork sandwich. It's so good. Coleslaw will be the next video dropping tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'll see you next time.
like and subscribe.